In this episode, we'll look at the impact of essential oils on the Castile soap. Sometimes a minor ingredient makes a big difference. That's the case with the essential oils. They make up only 2% of the soap, and yet they affect the soap in a couple ways. For one, they change the color of the soap slightly. Some make it darker, some make it lighter. Also, we're gonna look at how they change the freezing point of the soap. I have the full lineup here of Dr. Bronner's Castile soaps, all eight cents, but you can do this experiment even if you only have two or three. I also have clear mason jars and an instant read thermometer. Pour a half cup of each scent into the clear mason jar, put the lid on and label it. Then take the jars and put them in the fridge or outside on a cold day. My family doesn't even question anymore when they find soap in the fridge. Check on them every 20 minutes to see when they start to cloud. Here's the first one to cloud, it's the rose. The olive and coconut oil in the soap are starting to freeze and turn white, but the essential oil impacts at what temp? Let's find out. Insert an instant read thermometer to find out how cold. Looks like 45 degrees. Make a note of that and in what order? Rose number one, 45 degrees. The last one is citrus. While there isn't a big range in freezing temperatures, the essential oil is still making a difference. It does not harm the soaps to turn white. They'll still work perfectly. And they're also gonna warm up at different rates too. The peppermint's already on its way. If you leave them at room temperature or set them in a bowl of warm water, they will return to their beautiful clear amber hue. Thanks for joining me for these seven lab coat moments from my book, Soap and Soul, a practical guide to minding your home, your body, and your spirit with Dr. Bronner's Magic Soaps. If you haven't gotten your copy yet, look for it at your local bookseller in hardback, ebook, or audiobook. And if you like content like this, be sure to like my channel.